I'm Justin Coffey with ATV.com and that is the 2025 Can-Am Outlander 1000R. That is the XTP version. Uh, we just wrapped up two days of riding here in British Columbia. We're about an hour and a half outside of Kelowna um, at CKMP. They have an amazing facility with incredible riding opportunities everywhere. Yeah. You look like a guy at the UFC wearing a tap out shirt. like an insane lodge situation and garage. It's pretty awesome. Um, this is an all new unit for Can-Am uh, for 2025. It is powered by a 1000 cc Rotax V-Twin making 101 horsepower. Um, it is an absolute mountain goat of a machine that will go anywhere quickly. It's, uh, it's just built on steroids. Uh, we spent the last day uh, up in the mountains at elevation, we got up to about 7,500 feet. Uh, a little reduction in power as we climbed up, but the thing just absolutely hauls the mail. Um, the 1000R model comes with four-wheel disc brakes, standard 27-inch tires. It has a full five and a half millimeter skid plate underneath it, uh, 12 inches of travel in the rear, 10.8 in, inches of travel up front, um, which is a ton of travel for this machine. And we found that it is more than capable. The, the loop that we've got right here on the property is a couple of miles of just pretty technical woodsy riding um, with big stumps and like fallout and little creek crossings and, and this thing, given how big it is, I thought maybe it was gonna be a little tough to, to manage, but it's got power steering. It's got adjustable levels of, of response on the power steering from minimum all the way to maximum, um, as well as braking assist, so it's got it. Up here is your intelligent engine braking. got intelligent braking assist so you can you can adjust it so that as you're going downhill you've got more brake assist or absolutely none essentially um, but in the technical stuff here it was it was phenomenal um, much more capable and easy to ride than I anticipated given how, how large it is it weighs almost 960 pounds um, it's you know, about 48 inches wide, 50 when the suspension's compressed. Uh, it's running a, a new A-arm front and rear suspension system. So um, that coupled with the Fox shocks on the 1000R um, makes this thing just unstoppable in, in certain circumstances. Uh, it's very stable at speed. Uh, Can-Am worked really hard to make sure that the machine, you know, was, was level through the corners. Um, the power steering really assist you in, in not having to fight the thing as you're going through the corners, uh, especially coming downhill, I noticed. Um, we went up, you know, at elevation coming back down, it was 
it was fast you know you got a lot of mass underneath you moving quickly it was uh, a lot easier to come you know a lot easier to ride there's um, there's also a new 850 model that we rode today um, that model makes about 68 horsepower compared to the 101 horsepower that this thing makes um, so it's a little more tame a little easier to ride in that sense um, however I honestly I found that the the ergonomics on the 1000 R this is the XTP like I said the ergonomics on this thing are, are, are really comfortable um, the seat is phenomenal um, you know we, we spent 12 hours on the machine yesterday so I thought I would be pretty worn out but I was uh, I was impressed so they've also they've developed um, you know a multiple iterations of this of this model so there's a, a limited edition which comes with a, an 11 inch uh, touchscreen uh, display um, this XTP model is more of the the sport you know uh, enthusiast focused and then there's a standard model there's over a hundred accessories that transferred from the G2 plus line which is the outgoing Outlander platform this is a new frame new suspension new a-arm geometry so it's it's an all new 95 percent new parts is what Can-Am told us um, but it's the outgoing model carried over a lot of the accessories so there's almost a hundred accessories that you can put on this thing everything from you know, additional storage compartments to a chainsaw mount, fuel containers. It's, I mean, the list goes on. It's pretty impressive. There's even a stereo system, the six and a half inch speakers up front uh, that are snowproof, waterproof, mudproof, everything proof. Um, I managed to steal one of those yesterday and ride it for most of the day. And uh, it's pretty cool to be able to, you know, play your music, Bluetooth capacity, and, and just rip the trails out here in British Columbia. So we, uh, We've been lucky enough to get two full days on two different machines, the 850 and the 1000R. I think at the end of the day, uh, we even did a speed test. Woo! Here we go. Sport mode. Huh. Sport mode? Sport mode. Four wheel drive. Okay. Winch in. Winch <laughs> in. Okay. And there you go. Now it's ready to race. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you caught everything. <laughs> Sport mode, speed test. We'll just pretend like there's other people. Yeah. You ready? It'll feel good. Are you ready? Bring them up, bring them up, bring them up. It's like a drag race, essentially, and we noticed that the, the 850 in sport mode is about as fast as this is in standard mode so you you know you really kind of have to weigh whether you're looking for that high level of performance or if you're satisfied with what the uh, what the 850R provides you um, the the 850 comes with show a suspension this model comes with Fox suspension uh, it is definitely a, a noticeable difference here in the woods and the technical stuff um, there's also a, a front sway bar on this machine which really stabilizes it in the uh, in the high speed stuff in the corners. Um, overall, I, we are incredibly impressed. Uh, we're you know super stoked that that Can Am brought us out here and gave us the chance to ride not one but two machines for multiple days. And uh, check out my full review. I'm gonna have a full review on ATV.com. I am Justin Coffee checking out.